I'm John Franklin. I'm the uh, director of athletic bands here at East Carolina University. Uh, in that position, I uh, supervise both the Marching Pirates as well as the uh, basketball pet band uh, and any other athletic groups that kind of form out of that. Uh, in addition to my duties as the uh, director of the symphonic band and, and instructor of uh, various uh, music history courses here. I enjoy working with so many students from many different backgrounds. Uh, it's one of the opportunities I have to, uh, to be able to work with uh, the students who are from not just the music school, but from all the different departments of the university. Um, I love college sports, have loved college sports for many, many years, and, and it's a way for me to kind of be involved with that without you know, having had athletic background experience or coaching like that, and, and particularly at a place like East Carolina where, where the athletics are such an important part of it, particularly football. It just makes that an, an exciting part of it. So. Uh, for many reasons why a lot of uh, the band members who do the marching band are, are very similar to my reasons. Uh, my name is Joshua Vulcan. I am the drumline captain of the Marching Pirates. My favorite part of the Marching Pirates has to be the games. The games are always intense. It's fun to play for the big crowds. It's a good time. And I just like uh, you know having the, the pageantry and the tradition that goes along with that too. I feel like a lot of our traditions are, are in, still in their kind of uh, initial stages, but uh, some, of the, some of them include things such as uh, uh, our field entrance uh, coming out of the new bone yard that was established a few a couple years ago, or last year rather, um, having our drum major strut out uh, uh, to do the uh, uh, baton, uh, the mace toss there as well. Uh, we started doing a call to port pregame concerts uh, a couple of years ago that's uh, now a staple part of our uh, uh, game day experience. Uh, everything, and little things such as uh, doing uh, pirate fans, which is a dance that involves both band members as well as audience members in, in the stands too. The Martian Pirates, we play basically be way before the game and way after the game. Like, the Martian Man is usually here a good five hours prior game day. During that time we get everyone kind of stretched, warmed up physically as well as musically and mentally focused in on our, on our task for the day. Uh, then we spent uh, about an hour and a half or so working on uh, just continuity rehearsal, uh, just keeping everything fresh, uh, sort of like a walkthrough for the athletic teams would do. From that, uh, we, we just stay focused, make sure everything's uh, good to go, keep everything uh, nice and, and clean on, on the field as well as uh, marchingly as well as musically. About um, an hour and 45 minutes or so before kickoff, we, uh, we lined up uh, to parade over uh, to the stadium. Uh, we marched to the stadium, it takes it's about a uh, seven to eight minute walk over there uh, from, from the bottom of College Hill up, up to, uh, of course, to Dowdy Ficklin. Uh, we stop and perform uh, the fight song for, for the people in the, uh, the Elmhurst uh, parking lots there. And, uh, and then we go and do our call to port concert, which is always about, like, as I said, 90 minutes before kickoff. Um, and that's just about uh, 20 to 30 minutes of what I call high spirit and high jinx and high hilarity. It's just a lot of fun, a lot of entertainment, uh, where we get to play a lot of school songs, as well as a lot of just uh, really interesting pep tunes and choreography and things like that. Um, of course, then from there, we, uh, we go back into the stadium uh, and, and uh, we, uh, we get all the wind players together uh, right uh, underneath the Boneyard section and we play uh, Hoist the Colors, uh, which is, uh, of course, a uh, well uh, pirate theme that, that's uh, part of uh, ECU uh, pirate football. Uh, and then we uh, get ready for pregame. We do a pregame show that includes all of our school songs. Uh, we do, uh, of course, a spell out of ECU, a spell out of Pirates. Uh, we even started uh, last year uh, doing an outline of the state of North Carolina with one of our tuba players starring or dotting where Greenville is uh, to, uh, to do that too. Uh, after pregame, we, we're up in the stands as fast as we can. Uh, our policy is that we never sit down during the game. Uh, we're always there behind our team supporting them. Uh, even if it's the fourth quarter and we're up by 56 points or down by 56 points, we're always there uh, giving them our full support uh, with that stuff. When we play in the stands, it really gets people hyped, get people up and jumping around, and especially the drum line, really get people moving around to our sweet beats. Uh, we're just there for the football team. You know, we want them to see that this group of uh, 245 students is there supporting uh, what they're doing 100% uh, all the time. We have a great relationship with all the athletic teams here. Uh, you know, things uh, such as uh, you know, when we're playing certain tunes like Ride In or uh, Drumline that has a great funk beat to it, uh, you can you know, see the bob in their head, sometimes uh, you know, shaking around a little bit, dancing, uh, depending on how things are going in the, in the uh, uh, 
uh, uh, in the game at that point in time. But you know, what, that's what we try to do is just give them something to kind of hang on to to get them pepped up. The Marching band really does drive the energy for the stadium, and it's um and actually the whole football team because the football team even told us you know when you guys play, y'all get me riled up and hyped up and ready to play. Uh, and then of course our the fe feature of. Um, of, uh, the, the gaming performance is our halftime show, which is uh, we, we normally do about five uh, different shows a year. Uh, with that, uh, ranging for everything from uh, you know a couple years ago, we did a salute to '80s hair bands. So we did Foo Fighters this year. We do a salute to our American Armed Forces, um, Parade for Hollywood uh, show for for our homecoming thing, so on and so forth. Now, I always tell freshmen, no matter what their discipline is, whether or not they've had a, a musical background or not, that they, uh, the one thing that, that's almost going to guarantee their success in college is that it's finding a way to get connected to wherever they are. I joined the Marching Pirates freshman year. I heard a lot about uh, the marching band here at East Carolina, and I was a senior in high school. The marching band at East Carolina did an exhibition performance at one of the competitions. It was pretty sweet. I saw a lot of the guys, I ended up marching with some of them next year, so it was, it was neat. I think if you really want to be a part of an organization, I would definitely recommend Marching Man, because Marching Man is the, the largest student body organization on campus. And, I mean, we have 270 people plus staff. So, if you want to be a, a part of an organization where you definitely will find a family somehow, one way or another, I would definitely recommend Marching Man. Not only that, but we just, we, we're good. You know, where it's 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 fun to be part of something that's successful and 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 does uh, some great stuff, and and we do music that, that fits so many variety of tastes. We try to really uh, broaden our appeal to, to so many different people. So you know, for students who really want to experience uh, uh, the finest uh, opportunities to uh, uh, be in, a, in one of the best marching bands, collegiate marching bands in the country. This is a great opportunity to do so, and uh, you know, and, and as you know, uh, during the, when you're here for four years, that four years goes by quickly, and you never get that experience back again, too. So that, that's one thing I always try to encourage students to do is to take take time to enjoy your four years of college where you're part of it. Well, when we're playing our drums on defense, it's a good thing for our defense. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let me start that one over. When we play our drums on defense, okay, one more time, here you go. On defense, we play our drums and it really helps out our defense. I need to stop wording it like that. <laughs> Peace.